Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is a day for some bonuses. Uh, my mic, my camera's all wonky. So I have a flip through and this flip through is um, very special because this is not something that you can buy on Amazon. It's not something you can buy on Etsy. It is a local artist here in Oregon. Uh, she's out of Salem and I saw on their Facebook group that uh, she had come out with an entire coloring book and it's fantastic. Her name is Robin Belfield. I think I'm saying that right. Belfield, Belfield. And she is just the most darling woman ever. Um, I did a color um, class at Runaway Art Studios and Art Shop out in Salem, Oregon a couple of years ago just before the pandemic hit and this artist draws for that shop and other things. Her art can be purchased, her coloring book work, um, her coloring pages can be purchased only at Runaway Arts and Crafts. I think that's how you say it is. Yeah. Runaway Arts and Craft Studios. I have talked to her about um, maybe getting it on Etsy or on uh, their website because they do have a website and I will put that website in the um, about section below. Um, I have not heard back anything about shipping to other areas or anything like that. So if there, it is something that you want to purchase, let me know um, and I will forward that information on to her and to Runaway Studios. So let's, let's look at this pretty book. So it's a really nice book. The artist and the publisher um, put this book together um, and worked together picking paper and other things like that. She uses a lot of colored pencils in her own coloring. So she chose a paper that worked best with the colored pencils um, that she has been using. She has been using things such as the Brunzeal, the Faber-Castell, the Prismacolors, that sort of thing. And here is her first page. Now I'm going to cheat and I'm going to read off at of the back here what these pictures are called. So this one is called Oakwood because of the Oakwood Library. Little bunnies. She's reading with a cup of tea. All the little animals. Oh, so many new things. Every time you look at a picture you see something new. It's just fantastic just wonderful. And this one is, look at that, just beautiful. This one is called Moon Bunny because the moon and the bunny and the moths, great moths. Oh, and their little frog and a snail and some strawberries, just so cool. And this one, is called Royal Elephant. Just absolutely fantastic. And this one here is called The Green Lady. Little mouse. There's a little mouse in there and a little frog. Oh, and a snake. Oh, dragonfly. I didn't even see the dragonfly. Oh, and a bee just so cool. And the cicada bugs there. They look like cicada bugs anyway. I think they are. And this, this is the mascot for Runaway Arts and Crafts Studio. And this is the mystical Edgar. And he is the Edgar. He's so cool. I just love Edgar. 
and then we have this wonderful wonderful house it's called the magic tree and it's a big tree with a magical house on top and a little brook oh, it's just so cool it's even got a solarium <laughs> that's so cool and this one here is called the Swampland. And it's got all different catfish and crocodiles, and turtles, cranes, and a little raccoon in the canoe with her. That's so awesome. And this one is called the Winter Shaman with a wolf and a bear and otters different things that you can find all over the place here in Oregon raven ooh for the dragon lovers this is so cool this is called the crystal dragon with the crystals and the dragon eggs and the dragon just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous work and the paper is really nice. It's not too thin. It's not too. Th it's not a heavy cardstock, but it's not a printer uh, paper either. It's got a little bit of tooth on it, but it's a little smooth. They are one-sided pictures, so if you chose to use markers, you could definitely use markers. This one is called the Turtle God, and it's got a wonderful turtle and a lovely fairy house type thing on its back with a catfish and one of those um, fish that the lure fish just really cool ooh this one's cool oh elephants little elephants this one is called Bali and it's got some monkeys and some elephants and you know different Indian god type things a kookaburra. This one is called the SS Nautilus with a narwhal. And sea turtle. Turtle turtle. Just so cool. Her imagination is just fantastic. And this one is called the Obob. Bobob. B A O B O B. And it's a type of tree with the a snake and the kangaroos and the sun. It's a very Australian looking picture. Oh, isn't that sweet? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's just adorable. This is called the Hedgehog House, and of course he's got the little hedgehog with the umbrella mushroom. It's a, a spider and a grasshopper and a moth and a snail, some ladybugs, just so cool. And this one is called the Mouse House. Of course, you know, all the little mice. This one's coloring. Ah! <laughs> yeah, we've got a coloring mouse there. And we've got a couple up in bed reading. Well, one's reading, one's sleeping. And then down here, we. I don't know how she can sleep with this guy fiddling, playing the violin, her playing little little toot horn there. There must be some good insulation in this little mouse house, that's for sure. And this one's having a bubble bath. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love this little mouse house. I think this is going to be the first one I'm going to be coloring. Oh, there's another Create with Mr. Edgar. And there's the artists there's the runway and then the art journal so all different things from runaway um, art studios in this picture as well oh 
and this is the cover picture and it is the Owl Queen of course all of these are copywritten uh, by Robin Balefield and Flying Monkey Studios I do believe that's her studio and of course the Egyptian cat and it's got all sorts of Egyptian runes behind her the scarabs just fantastic absolutely wonderful and then of course it has a list of all of the different um, pictures that, that are in there, the different names that they are uh, listed as. Uh, of course, you can make copies of any of the pictures in this book for your own personal use. And then on the back of the book, it tells you a lot about Robin herself. It tells you when she started drawing. She lives, um, she's been living in the Pacific Northwest, which is Oregon area for most of her life. Uh, she finds inspiration in nature, fairy tales, and of course her own weird imagination. I don't think it's weird at all. I think she has a fantastic imagination. Uh, she loves seeing what other people can create using her designs. Um, she's been creating adult coloring pages for several years and um, of course has been a favorite of customers at Runaway Art and Craft Studios located in Salem, Oregon. Uh, Nature's Magic is the first time that several of Robin's favorite drawings have been put together in a single book. Of course, uh, even, even Der Publishing is who published the book and uh, they are both pleased and proud to partner with Robin and Runaway Arts and Crafts Studios in the pub to publish what we expect to be the first in a series, yay, of unique adult coloring books. The 18 images of this uh, images in this book would retail for $54 if purchased separate separately, and four of them have never been available before that are appearing in this book. This book is $15 and of course because I went down and purchased it from Robin myself uh, she has let's see if I can find it uh -huh, I grabbed the wrong one uh -huh. she has so kindly signed it for me so it says thank you so much Renee color with love Robin which is so cool it was first printed today well actually they went on sale today I have purchased the first run of my copies from the first run now that I have gone through this absolutely beautiful, beautiful book. I am going to, um, I am working with the artist uh, to have her come on the show, to come on the channel uh, for a artist uh, confab to see if we can get some insight on the next book and how you guys can purchase this book. Um, at this time, it is not available online it is only available at runaway arts and craft studio in salem oregon now i purchased not one not two but three copies of this book so of course one of them is mine. <laughs> uh, the one that she signed for me is mine and I am keeping that one. However, I do have two copies available for giveaway. So I am going to put together a treasure hunt and the first two people that locate everything in the treasure hunt and email 
me where they have located them. I will be adding, it will take a little while, I will tell you when to go, um, but I'm going to put together a series of little cards the you know the little information cards you click on the information card it tells you where to you know what is on the card I will go through my videos I will select certain videos and I'll put an information card on there which will be a link to another YouTube artist where you can find one of the items that is listed in the treasure hunt. There will be five out of the 18 things listed here. So I will leave a link to five different artists, YouTube artists, of five different things out of this list. If you can find all five the first and second person to find all five of those things in the United States. Ah, nah, anywhere in the world. Anywhere. You can be anywhere. Um, email me the answers, where you found them, what YouTube link. Of course, you have to make sure you like and subscribe the um, YouTuber that you're linked to and uh, send me a email. Of course I will go through all of it again once I get everything put together and let's give these books away. I am so thrilled that she has put together a book. I, um, I actually co have colored some of her work uh, before and I absolutely love it. I, I think she has the imagination of a dream and it's just adorable work and it's not it's not overbearing and it's it's just a nice pleasant uh, coloring and I, I just can't wait to get started on it. So what I will do is I, I will make a special video of how to win these books. Win one of these books. So there will be two winners and I will make a special video on where, how, what to do and everything. Okay, just so I have it, I have the ability to spell it all out for y'all and you know, def make sure that it's it's well known and on how to follow the the trail basically just so that I can you know not have the same problem I had the last treasure hunt for some reason none of my links were working <laughs> so nobody won the treasure hunt but I will I will make sure I go through all of the ins and outs all of the details I will make a special video um, for that, I will probably do that on Tuesday or Wednesday, um, just because I, I have to go through and watch a bunch of videos so that I know where to find different YouTubers that have like a Swampland or a Crystal Dragon or a Turtle, you know, things like that. All right, guys, I want to say thank you very much for watching. Of course, um, Great work, Robin Belfield. Um, once again, you can find her work if you're in Oregon, in Salem, Oregon, at the Runaway Art and Craft Studio. What I will do is I will leave you a link to the Runaway Craft Studio's website, and I will also uh, leave a link to... Um, well, I'll leave you a link to the Runaway Craft site. Um, currently, this is not available on the on the website. I will let you all know um, 
when it'll be available, if it'll be available, and how to get a hold of this book uh, when it does come available. This is a huge, huge sneak peek to the rest of the world and to anyone in Oregon. Absolutely wonderful coloring book. Get out there and find it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Of course, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And of course, happy Father's Day to all of those wonderful fathers out there. Always remember to relax, color, and stay safe, guys. All right, bye-bye for now.